I'm Caitlin Deaver, and I'm here to answer the IMDb show's Take 5. You can see me as Amy in Booksmart in theaters now. I wish that would have been a secret, but you've mentioned it many, many times. Booksmart is about a ride or die friendship between Molly and Amy. They are so dedicated to school and each other, and for the past four years of high school, that's all they've really known. We didn't party because we wanted to focus on school and get into good colleges, and it worked. They have not really had a lot of fun, and they've studied too hard, so they decide to go and have a journey together. Don't knock it until you've tried it. Don't knock it until you've tried it. The movie I've seen the most times is Nacho Libre. God, I love that movie. It's fantastic. I mean, I'm 22, so like 30 times is kind of a lot, right? Everything you just said is my favorite thing to do. Jack Black is like a huge inspiration for me, really shaped me and my comedy. Beneath the clothes, we find a man. I just love when he says I'm going out into the wilderness. There's a wide frame of him on the top of this very small hill, and he's still just within the village. Hola, Nacho! If I'm dating someone and they don't like Nacho Libre, they're out. I grew up watching Lizzie McGuire, so Lizzie and Miranda. Miranda? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were talking to me. Their friendship really shaped me. Raven and Chelsea, and that's a raven. You know you're my girl, Chelsea. All right. Abby and Alana, Broad City. Go easy on me, dude. Anne Hathaway and Kate Hudson's character in Bride Wars. I'm really happy for you. I can watch Bride Wars any moment of the day, happy, sad. I don't know why I'm obsessed with it, and I watch it with my sisters all the time. We're done. The movie that caused me to have nightmares as a kid was The Others. The doctors were never able to find a cure. It's very creepy to me. I don't know why, but it scares me to death. Tell me what happened. Sorry, this gets me really worked up, but there's this one part where she where she hears her daughter's voice, but then she turns around and it's an old lady, but her eyes are completely white. She doesn't even have eyes anymore. Where is my daughter? I am your daughter. The very first like adult grown-up movie that I could see was The Sixth Sense. I don't like people looking at me like that. Tony Collette's role in that movie was pretty much the reason why I wanted to be an actor. I think I'm a bad mother. This was like a real, honest role that I had never seen before. You know, you can tell me things if you need to. There was this scene of her with her son. I was just like, wow, she seems like she's really crying. She seems like she's a real person. <laughs> I was able to meet Tony and I got to tell her that. It's a big moment for me. It was really cool. The last TV show I binged watch was Sex Education. I've noticed you're pretending to masturbate and I was wondering if you wanted to talk about it. Love that show. It's too much. I don't I don't want to talk about it. The friends are Eric and Otis, and it's a friendship actually between a straight boy and a queer boy, and it's a really beautiful friendship that I've never seen on screen before. Okay, take a chill pill. Feeling insecure and feeling awkward and messy and weird and saying the wrong thing. I think they really have that down in that show. Could you not tell anyone about this, please? So that was my take five. Come see me in Booksmart, which is in theaters right now. This seems excessive. Shotgun. Just kidding. I don't have one.